How's it? Dude, you look good in that. Wish I could say the same for you. Dude, these are our new shirts. We got our first Pinch My Salt shirt. You got How's It on the front. <gasps> Dude, yep. freaking How's It? Dude, or freaking How's It? <laughs> Backed by popular demand. <laughs> Hoodies, dude. For today only, 24 hours, Cyber Monday, free shipping. Free shipping. Don't they feel good? They feel good. So get a hoodie, get a t-shirt, how's it, support the pod. I would love to do this podcast weekly. People ask that all the time. But you know why we can't? To money. Mo money. Thanks, guys. Support the podcast. Support Sterling. All right, Sterling, I got some questions for you. You ready? These are sent in by the fans. What's the worst advice you've ever been given? Do you have any? Besides Shane Doran. <laughs> oh, and Shane asked you to be a vegan or told you to be a vegan? B besides Shane influenced me <laughs> to become a vegan and then quitting. The next day. Do surfers make good roommates? No. Why? We're messy. You're messy and sloppy? We go surf and we give it our all. <laughs> and then we come back and we're sandy and tired. Yeah. And we're just like... Dude, I just want to yeah. And then you just throw your crap. Get in my bed, Sandy. One of my favorite feelings is getting in bed totally Sandy. Ugh. I don't like sand. I mean, Sandy and sticky and like Gross. sunburnt. And you're just like so tired. You're like. You're definitely alone in that. I like the salty feel. Stoners are the hardest to live with. Really? If you're not a stoner. Right. Because it's just constant like. <laughs> Well, stoners, they're, they're their own tribe. I feel like long-time stoners, they get a little moody. <laughs> <laughs> what is one item in your house that you can't live without? My bong. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever do chat AIM? AIM? Oh, dude, I had so many tabs open. <laughs> really? Like, going, I had like 10 girlfriends at once, like, how's your day? <laughs> no way, really? And then you could always leave like an away message, some depressing <laughs> lyric, like my soul hurts or something <laughs> stupid. Dude, I put so much time into AIM. <laughs> Is it AIM, AIM? No one ever knew. <laughs> America instant messages? I don't know. <laughs> so you would just be hitting up chicks all day. Dude, well, I had like 10 girlfriends in middle school. Right. Because I didn't know you had to just pick one. Right. Because <laughs> they all asked me. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Sure, we're dating. The more the merrier. <laughs> But yeah, I remember getting on that thing, and you, if you were kind of feeling emo, you would like write something like uh, away message. Yeah, like some like post postal service I lyric. I want this lonely road. <laughs> like a postal service lyric, like someone please crack my ribs and repair this broken heart. <laughs> <laughs> I remember f uh, MySpace. Was oh, pretty dude, snazzy. I remember when a chick you like put put you on her top eight. You were like. Whoa, you, yeah, you had top friends. Dude, if you got seven, you're like, oh, because <laughs> I'm not eight. That was cool. That came and went. <laughs> Didn't Justin Timberlake buy it? And I'm personally looking forward to all the things that MySpace TV is and will become. Yeah, and turn into some music thing. It never, it I don't think so. I feel bad for Justin Timberlake. Oh. <laughs> Investing money into that and then not taking off. I think he's freaking fine. <laughs> Why? Because Jessica Alba is under his arm. Jessica Alba. Who's he he's married to? Segever. Jessica Alba? Justin Timberlake's not married to <laughs> Jessica Alba, is he? What's her name? One of the girls. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, I know exactly. She has like a nose with a dent in it. Yeah, the nose dent? Yeah. You kind of like yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, whatever her name is that he married, do you think yeah. he likes her? I think so. Uh, I mean, at that level of fa fame, don't you think they're just doing whatever they want? Do you think people get along better if their house is big enough? That's a good point. Like, I, <laughs> I wonder if <laughs> I get marriages emotional. last longer right. if the house is bigger. I think if you sleep in separate beds and have different kitchens, <laughs> you'll, you'll <laughs> be married longer. <laughs> Don't you think? This is a good question we should be asking. Should yeah. houses be bigger? <laughs> 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 or different levels? Like, I wonder if a lot of divorces are just from small house vibes. Yeah, low square footage. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we would have been married if we had a bigger kitchen. <laughs> but most people can't afford a big So only rich people can stay married is what you're saying. I think only rich people can be happy. Because they can live separate from their wives. <laughs> <laughs> All the poor people are mad because they have to be really like, bumping around in the kitchen. Oh, you're really not going to pick up your underwear? <laughs> yeah, your glass of water. Do you think it's fair if you're paying for everything, you have to pick up everything? Well... 
Or is this sexist? Might be a touch sexist, but <laughs> my wife does a lot with like the kids and this, and I like I made her have kids. So I just feel like if you're paying for everything, you should get in less trouble. So yeah, it should be like ninety like percent oh. less trouble. <laughs> yeah. But you can't just be a full slob. Right. Give up. Just a little bit. But she can eat pump the brakes a touch. Right, like Oh, there's underwear. Let me yell at him. It's like, wait, like wait, he's he paying paid, for everything. Paid for the mortgage. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you're with like a roommate and they just, they're like, hey, I'm just going to pay the rent. You would probably let him be messier. Yeah, you'd be like, yeah. well, leave that shit anywhere. <laughs> like, hell yeah, I'll pick it up. Yeah, I'll pick up your- But some reason if you get married, it's like, oh, yeah. you're, gonna, you're really going to do that, are you? You know, the older I get, the less I feel like I'm going to be scared of my wife, but I'm still just as scared. Dude, it's tough walking on eggshells around them. I know. They're like, what did you say? <laughs> what did you say about? <laughs> it's like, well, nothing. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I know. We're all scared. <laughs> uh, I'm good. They come out like dress and you're trying to think of something cool to say. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> something cool. <laughs> like the other day I was in the kitchen late at night, obviously. <laughs> and and I was like, I felt nervous. I was like, am I doing something wrong? And she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just drinking some water. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like the freaking warden in the jails walking by. I was like, just getting water. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. It's like, why am I nervous? <laughs> why am I always scared? <laughs> or if they just walk in the room and they go, hey, and you're like, yeah, oh. what did they find out? <laughs> <laughs> then you didn't even do anything wrong. It's like when a cop's behind you, you're like, oh, crap. <laughs> it's <sighs> like you're always just like, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Dude. What uh, did I do? And problem. like I would cross my T's and dot my eyes. Like, yeah. yeah, I didn't. I haven't done anything. <laughs> like, yeah, I haven't cheated. I, haven't. Yeah, I didn't cheat this week. I did. <laughs> you like know you're in the clear, but the <laughs> tone in their voice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> but if you picked up a roommate and you're like, "Hey, I'm going to I'm going to pay yeah, the rent, I'm going to pay the electricity, I'm going to yeah. pay for most of the food." Right. And you'd be like, "What? This is insane." Yeah. And well, they left their underwear on the floor, would you be like, "Well, hey." Yeah. "Hey, bro." You'd be like, "This is sick." You yeah. pick it up with your toes and freaking <laughs> throw it in the dirty. <laughs> Dude, yep. A lot of men out there can totally understand this. <laughs> Women just, I think they find true happiness in a clean home. And I don't get that. Like, can we disconnect that part? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, also, like, if you do something really nice, there's that joke, like, someone's getting lucky tonight. It's like, why do I have to yeah. fix the fence? <laughs> or it has to be the anniversary. They treat you like a dog. Yeah, like, you're going to get lucky tonight because you clean the kitchen. It's like, <sighs> And they pat you. They're like... <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Because they don't really like you anymore and like they can't like just love on you. Yeah. So if you do something for them, they're like, oh, good boy. <laughs> Maybe you'll get lucky. Can't live with them. started this? Can't live with them. <laughs> I don't know who started it, the Indians. <laughs> Hey there, thrill seekers and wave chasers. This segment is brought to you by our awesome sponsor, Esteem, the ultimate destination for radical surfwear. So follow them on Instagram at Esteem Surf Co. and get some radical surfwear at esteemsurf.com. Like, what is that? Well, what is that pump outer? <laughs> he looks like a baby chick when they first hatch. And they're like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I love that I can't even stand on this thing and he's doing triple axles. I know. Gosh. Wow. I don't care how you slice it. That pump don't look cool. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, that's the future of surfing. How's that dismount? Hi. Uh-oh. Was this the new wave pool? Yeah, where's Felipe going? Ooh. Oh. This is pro surfing. There's a fr What is Kelly doing? Is that a magic spell? God, it looks so weird with the buildings and the train. Yeah. Like, could they put some more, like, Saudi vibes or something? Like grasses? Yeah, they need, like, palm trees in it. Look. Look, there's the wave. There. Look at the sunset. Look how sad the sunset is. Like, like one tree that's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so a true server that loves nature kind of is like, oh, I miss the... I guess this will be cool for people from there. Like never. Right. But let's let's zone in on Kelly here. All right. What's going on? 
It looks like they're making him stand. <laughs> yeah, can he not stand anymore? He's like a puppet. And I wonder how much he got paid for this. Just to do that. He probably got millions. This is the future. Here we are. I guess Hope that's... you're happy. Aw. Oh. Dang, this kid's lucky. Look how hard Uncle Shreds. Doof, doof, doof. Look at this baby. That... Jeez. You know there's some Karens in the comment section like, no, I wouldn't do this, I wouldn't do this. Sherry has a life jacket on. Oh, I love this. Dude, this is it. This is this is what it's all about. Sharing the stoke. Right here, watch this moment. He's so pumped. Dude, isn't that <laughs> sick? I think all surfers have to get to a place where like giving a wave is better than taking. Nice. Just being out there, the vibe, right. sharing. If the surf was firing, though, you know all these dudes would be, can we push Trevor next Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at her just trying yeah. to get better at cooking. What's she and doing? this one. This one. <laughs> beat him. Bap. Well, she's probably just been married longer. Right. Yeah, she's... <laughs> <laughs> The girl in the pink just is getting started. Yeah. She's excited. I can't wait to cook for my and husband. She's been married for 30 years. And <laughs> fuck her. <laughs> cook ass. What? This is the future. <laughs> what is going on? He's riding power lines. Look how he hits these roofs. <laughs> how do you start this? What? What this is town crazy. let him do this? <laughs> <laughs> sure, He's right. just grinding roofs. This is like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Boots, boots, Swing your boots. partner round and round. <laughs> throw her on to the ground. Sling her in. The... <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ooh. Dude. Who's your daddy? Yahoo! <laughs> what is the purpose of those kids? <laughs> what? I want their job. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Taint flips? Shoots. <laughs> What's this called? This is like aggressive hiking. <laughs> they're just some boots. Yeah, they're just rock shifting. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. They didn't think all this through. So they're bored because there's no snow? I'd love to see their knees now. Oh, these guys are toast. All- <laughs> Yee! Whoa. Dude, there's no reason to do that. We got in a fight in Fiji. My dad died three weeks before this. So flash forward, did we go to this dinner we get really drunk and he just starts picking on me going you're going bald you're going bald <laughs> i hadn't processed losing my hair yet you know i was like oh it's real now no don't tell anyone you know and uh i go you know what maybe when your dad dies you'll know how i feel right now he goes what the did you say and he grabs a canopy and he starts kicking me in the face <laughs> and all, that was it bang it was just right then it was on I told him oh, kelly's dad just died like a couple weeks ago you know and andy came over to me and was just bawling his eyes out and he's hugging me. He's like, man, I'm fucking sorry. I didn't know your dad died. I'm so sorry. You're still going bald though. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of good things don't happen when you're drunk. <laughs> Dude. Whoa. Trampoline waves? Dude. Look how professional he is with it. And alley down the line. Oh, that kind of looks fun though. I'd get so dizzy. Dude, the ultimate awkward. <laughs> Whoa. It's a bad one. <laughs> this is the worst. Look at their brains malfunction. <laughs> that would happen to me if I ever get to meet Kelly Slater. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Slater. Dad, let me just jump on you. <laughs> Dude. I love that he could have jumped forward, but he's like, you know what? You look kind of comfy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ew. <sighs> This is a few, and his friend just rode over him. Yeah, he's like, Ooh. see ya. Oh my God. And then, yoink. So did he just get cut in half? What happens? I don't know. Do you know how many fish are probably getting cut in half by full borders every day? <laughs> There's probably fish just getting sliced in half. You think? Yeah. And turtles. <laughs> Internals? Internals. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Both of them had their eyes closed, I guess. Whoa, Mason Ho's got a new training program. What? Yeah. Jeez. Dude. Wow. Whoa, carve? Wow. What a <laughs> phenomenal dismount. Dude, this is us. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Remember you said you could go do a kickflip? Yeah, that would. <laughs> 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 and 
This is what it would look this, like. This is what would that, my slippers. Loafers. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> this is what happens when dads skate yeah. again. Have you heard of um butt snorkeling? It's called jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did he get jujitsu? Look at him. Oh god, he's, trying to be, he's like, please no. Can I? <laughs> no. Can I not? Can I put my head in your ass? Can you not? No. Let me breathe. <laughs> That's jujitsu, dude. <laughs> is that a a maneuver to? Put I guess. Their nose in your butt <laughs> <laughs> Like, is that an official trick? I think it is. And you don't wipe for four days. <laughs> <laughs> this is like when the you use the taint the wrong way for you. Oh. He's trying to end a life with the taint. It's like the dark side of the taint. <laughs> the taint. <laughs> oh. Boss coming, you're getting yeah. smashed to pieces, sausage. Right, you're fighting the best British heavyweight there's ever been. The fing dauntless in these waters, me. What? You beat all the rest of them, but you ain't beat Tyson Fury yet, sausage. Sausage. Look at him, his heart's pounding now. He's like a little p with an earring in. Shit yeah, out. His bollocks have shriveled up now, they have. No, well, sausage. I don't, I I don't see more speak. In. He doesn't even understand them. He's like, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I love sausage. It just seems so fake at this point. It is fake, dude. All the whole boxing, that whole stuff, it's just hype to sell it. Right. And then every time the fight happens, everybody's like, this is stupid hype. And then the next one happens and everyone pays for it. <laughs> I'm mad. Did you see Diplo? Oh, is this Dippy? Yeah, I guess he's like starting this new swing surf program. And he goes out and like just swing surfs. Dude. Diplo's been taking too much drugs at his freaking concerts. Yeah. Look at him. Whoa. I like his gloves. Like, Paul Fisher, you suck. Whoa. <laughs> Dead mouse, you, you have nothing on me. Oh, dude, check this out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. This poor dude, check. Fins to the shins, Everyone dude. said go down the beach. Yeah. But this go kid... farther down the beach. <laughs> 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 but look at his little, he's got swack. Are you talking about the girl or him? Yeah, the girl. She's like, all right, everything's great. Go. Yeah. That's a, that's a great example of learn somewhere else. Go, go away. Go farther down. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> He's still. I, wish I was rich. You can tell he's just rich. Yeah, he's got time to think. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you should foil down there. He's on a foil. Did you see crowd? that? So there's a dog. No, no. Look at that. Why is there a dog? You see the dog on the board? Mm -hmm. So we got a dog. We got a soft top. We got a foiler. Got a foil soft topper. <gasps> That's I feel like you shouldn't foil around humans. All right, these will do. All right, let me just take him to the bottom and on a three. <laughs> All right, job's done. Time for a colon cleanse. Yeah, this is good. What'd you say? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so scary. Look at Laird. Is this Laird too? Yeah, this is how they charge their house. <laughs> <laughs> so Laird uses natural powers. Yeah, this is how they keep their their house powered. <laughs> so they have a pool under the house where he keeps it generated? Yeah, he pl they plug it into him. <laughs> wow. They put it in his ass and yeah. he starts swimming? <laughs> so all night, Laird's just keeping the air conditioning on. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby. You need to. <laughs> the blender. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Paris Hilton DJs. <sighs> is she making music at home? I don't know. I mean, this pretty much defines it, ends the whole debate that anyone can DJ. I don't know Paris Hilton. Maybe she's musically inclined, but. I mean, come on. Look at her. Someone clearly makes the music and she just prances. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she prances. Look at dude. her. Dude, I was sitting in my van the other day and I'm like, dude, I should be a DJ. Be a DJ. I know. <laughs> Seriously. Do you know anybody with DJ equipment? Like, can we hit up P. Diddy? We don't even need equipment. You just order fake stuff. And then just get an iPod. Couldn't can't Dead Mouse? Can you Dead Mouse? Help us? Get Sterling <laughs> on the DJ circuit. Can you give me like the Paul Fisher package? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Paris Hilton package. Yeah, where you just get dropped in and and everyone's like, <laughs> dude, I could see your big SS with the number signs. <laughs> no. And dude. I could say like fun affirmations. It's, uh, yeah, you know the rule. <laughs> And it's, you know the rules, you know the rules, you know the rules. <laughs> Dead Mouse, we need you. 
Dead Mouse, can, get us to Canada. Can you help us prove that anyone can <laughs> DJ? Dude. But Dead Mouse is like one of the legit legends, right? Well, he like started it. Yeah, he's the home. He probably actually had to put in the work. <laughs> yeah. And then now all these people are just. Yeah. Right. I think Dead Mouse is like the, one of the geniuses behind it and the rest are just tagging along. That's Yeah, he like did the hard stuff. Yeah. Now people just like hire people to make this. Guys, thing. let's get Sterling DJ famous. Dead Mouse, we need you. But then you need to stop the show one day and be like, this is all fake. <laughs> like in the show and then walk away. On the DJ? Yes. Drink. I think we need to say it's fake while doing it. Like, it's fake. The whole time. It's fake. It's fake. <laughs> Anyone can DJ. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to know someone. <laughs> look at these photos. Is that Larry? Dude, look at Larry. Th- muscles? This was on Easter Sunday. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at this. He's holding mustard. What? What is going on? <laughs> he's doing SAG therapy. Oh, yeah. He's reversing aging. Uh, the yolk. <laughs> Must put the yoke. Oh, I love this photo. Dude, he's lifting See, up. See, Laird's big. That guy's staring straight at his bulge. Dude, who like, is Holy it? Laird. <laughs> Yee! <Yeah>. Stussy. <laughs> Dude, Laird has thousands <laughs> of amazing photos. <laughs> oh. He's the Chuck Norris of the surfing yeah, realm. Definitely. I love What's the weirdest thing in your fridge? Any th- weird items? I kind of peek in there sometimes. There's some weird, kind of like, looks like a Buddhist cups buddhist cups like buddha drinks like tuka tuva with brain power i drink pickle juice is that weird i don't drink yeah that's weird that's the weirdest you always come to my house if you're coming to my house my fridge looks like a jenga set about to fall apart every time <laughs> i open it up and i'm like whoa <laughs> you're like oh just hold the milk <laughs> i'm like uh. and i'm like whoa there's like eight bottles of something and then you're just like <laughs> Yeah, I bet Laird's fridge is just spotless. Do you think he has a um, housemaid? For sure. Yeah, <laughs> some little guy. He's it's too, definitely a dude. He's too busy running around in circles. Yeah, but you know he's hired some guy that's oh, like ripped. <laughs> I, only, I only have the rippest maid in town. Dude, uh, I bet Laird's just goes to room to room. like Just checking. <laughs> he just looks at it and walks out. <laughs> <laughs> he's just checking the corners <laughs> like, looking for really his he's like <laughs> <laughs> he walks out and then he's walking through the living room like Gabby's just looking, looking at, at ceilings Gabby's reading volleyball weekly <laughs> <laughs> what the heck and then you just hear refrigerators open <laughs> Gabby he probably has 10 refrigerators so you just yeah. hear them <laughs> <laughs> then you hear him chugging egg yolks like <laughs> he probably has chickens then he walks outside and jumps in the pool. Wait. <laughs> 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 Their pool cleaners probably like, what goes on in here? I feel like you would never see Larry just like on a couch. On a couch. Just like, oh, I'm tired. Never. And if it is, it's like Easter Sunday or something. <laughs> <laughs> if you did, it was it'd be only like after like post surgery. Yeah, like you just had his balls enlarged. He just had his balls cryogenically <laughs> frozen. <laughs> So the kids. Laird, we can freeze them and put them in a jar. I want them on me. <laughs> <laughs> he, they install a little refrigerator on his balls. <laughs> a little bit of creamer. <sighs> Pressurized refrigerator on his balls. Dude, the day Laird moves on to the next realm. What am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> we have to do something. Kelly and Laird. Dude, I don't want to ever get that text. <laughs> <laughs> Laird's gone. Laird's gone. What, what, without Laird, where would surfing be, you think? What if we're in Laird's will? He leaves, <laughs> <laughs> he leaves us something. The pool? Because we gave him so much free press. I know. He leaves us all those shintai pants. <laughs> <laughs> he has boxes. But it's something super lame. Yeah. The shintai pants. <laughs> 2023 shintai. <laughs> he leaves us an old sauna, but we have to figure out how to move it. We're like, Ugh. But we can't turn it on because he was the one generating <laughs> oh, yeah. the power <laughs> yeah he probably would leave us something lame just to piss us off laird please leave us something in your will yeah what is in laird's will what's in kelly's will it's <laughs> everything in kelly's wills to him <laughs> they're like wait i kelly, leave me you don't get it <laughs> no it's to me I kelly leave. when you die though you leave no wait <laughs> what I can't leave. I'm not leaving. Where <laughs> am I going to go? I can't leave. I'm Kelly. What if when Kelly gets to heaven, God punishes him and he's never allowed to be in water again? 
<laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you took too much water time from everyone else. <laughs> I don't understand like Kelly's marketing team. I know it's a little too. They always do the same stuff. It's dude. If I see one more shot of Kelly looking in the camera like this, or, <laughs> or like his eyes closed, like how many times has Kelly had to stand in front of a videographer? That's what I'm saying. Like, what if it's not even his fault? It's why doesn't he hire us? What would we do? We put a wig on him. <laughs> oh, dude, we would totally put a wig on him. <laughs> We'd make him fun. Kelly, hire like us. Like my first commercial of Kelly, we'd be in like a Jeep going down the street. Him and in a wig. like, I love my life. And yeah. he looks at me and we like high five. Yeah. And he's in a wig. You guys hit some. And yeah. he's doing like incredible stuff, like doing double backflips out the Jeep. Yeah. On the fans. <laughs> you guys have baseball bats in the Jeep hitting soft tops out of people's hands. We're like beating soft tops out of the <laughs> waters. We're cleaning up this area. And it's like selling layered pills or something. <laughs> What if we like brought the Dahui back? I don't know what the Dahui is. Dahui was Hawaiian, um, basically Hawaiians like making sure like the Haoles didn't take over. So they were a group of Hawaiians that joined together. Kind of kept the order of the island. Yeah, what if we brought the Dahui back? Gulf Breeze. Well, they're they're like a clothing company now. Um, I want to get, get a couple of Dahui shirts. Send us some Dahui shirts. <laughs> But, um, Are you allowed to wear it because you're white? <laughs> they're a company. I think anyone can buy it. Oh. <laughs> they make you I buy one, they're like, sorry. <laughs> Return it. <laughs> Whatever. But it'd be sick to like get rid of soft tops. Yeah. Like through enforcement. What if you could set up something up like, hey, like they used to burn books. Come burn your soft top and we'll give you a freaking fin or something. <laughs> or a gift card to Ron John. A shaka. <laughs> <laughs> no, give them a hardboard. Yeah, trade in your soft top for hardware. Yeah, well, if you burn it, we'll do a big worldwide. Yeah, I was at a skate contest once, and they had this. It's got, it was called a scooter crusher, and if you crushed your scooter because they had this thing that went, <laughs> and it would bend their scooter and break it. They would give you a skateboard. Whoa, it was sick. That's funny. <laughs> scooter crusher. I wonder if Kalani. Every time we talk about soft tops, he's like, "No, shh, shh, shh. my kids My have money. to go to college. <laughs> <laughs> my money." Is Kalani mad at us? No. Kalani Rob, we made a lot of videos about him on Soft Tops, but I think he's, is he not mad? That's what's great about Kalani. He's just like. He's sweetheart. The coolest. All right, good. Because Kalani's, he looks pretty ripped. we're trying to end his (laughs) career. But he's ripped, dude. Isn't he like 60? (laughs) He's pretty ripped. What if, how do we like give him something else to make up for the Soft Top revenue loss? T-shirt? Like if we're gonna stop soft tops, we need to think about oh right, Kalani. right? Because we, like we can't Kalani. just we can't just like throw them to the streets. Kalani, what could Kalani make money? What he looks like a barista kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a barista kind of. Get him into Starbucks. What if we got him into like Laird's umbrella? Hmm. Like he's ripped, tan. Like what if we got him selling some kind of diet pill or? <laughs> 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 we got to think about this Kalani what could he do besides surf there's just no money in the surf world yeah. you got to be a surfer but sell something out of Dude, the surf world I got it real estate, <laughs> be a good real estate. But, <laughs> but he wants we can't take away his soft top job because it's so easy mm. so we need to like switch it to something still good at fun not be like alright get to work yeah, I don't know. That's a tough one, bro. Maybe we'll just have to pay him. Oh, like give him like a salary? Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> so give him a salary so he can quit soft topping? Mm-hmm. We're just saying we want to, if we get rid of soft tops, we're here to support you, right. Kalani. We'll support you. Like we're not going to get rid of them and just be like, sorry, dude. Yeah. So we're fi- we're going to figure this out together. Should we, have we ever told the story when um, I came to your house to play Mortal Kombat and you cried? And I like kicked you off. You were such a little bit. <laughs> we just wanted to play Mortal Kombat and Sterling wanted to go outside and show off his skateboarding or something. <laughs> I wanted to play with y'all. <sighs> Whatever, dude. I'm like, let's jump on the trampoline or play soccer. I was like, Sub-Zero. And y'all just wanted to play Mortal Kombat. Dude. And I would just sit there and watch. And, like... but, and then you went and told on us to your mom. You're like, they don't want to go outside. <laughs> and Lydia was like, boys, turn off Mortal Kombat. I can't believe your mom, the super Christian lady, sweetheart, would let you Cursed play. Her, y'all? would let you play Mortal Kombat. Maybe she wasn't ready to look at it or something, <laughs> or didn't know. 
I mean, the game is pretty. Yeah, but it's just like, and there's ah, blood. Sonya. Sonya. To defend myself, I didn't invite y'all to come just play video games. Well, that's what I was told. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't come over. <laughs> no, we just. Well, there's to... also like only one controller. Dude, it's Mortal Kombat. We're nine years old. Of course, we're gonna be like. <laughs> we didn't have it, dude. When I was younger, I had the craziest dog ever. You did. His name is Aslan. Dude, I never knew that. And it was a giant chow. What's it was like a 200 pound chow. They look like lions. Okay. And this this dog was, it was Satan himself. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't allowed in the house because he was just so gnarly. He right. would just tear everything up and he would bite us. And Aslan. He was, I was so scared of him. And <laughs> so my dad, he, he the only thing he could do to maintain this dog is he would chain it up downstairs. Oh, we had a big downstairs yeah. outside, but all day it was just chained up. <laughs> and I get home and he'd be like, <laughs> "Why did you?" <laughs> and I'd keep run it? up the stairs. <laughs> Why would you keep the dang thing? My dad at night he would just we live in the woods and he would just undo the chain. <laughs> they lived like, in a house in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be like, "All right, see ya," and the dog would just be like, <laughs> and all night he'd be in the woods like. <laughs> <laughs> And it would come back just so muddy. muddy. My dad would just chain him up, <laughs> and then all day long he'd be under there. Like, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Your dad sounds like a terrible dog owner. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, this just freaking, feed him soft this toppers. freaking one night, I watched this alien movie, and I'm like, "Well, this movie's kind of scary, you know? Like, yeah. it's kind of freaking me out." So I like turn it off, and I'm laying in bed, and. Uh, <laughs> He chained the dog on the porch that night. I didn't know. Oh. So the dog's chained up. And so the dog jumps over <laughs> over the railing. We live two stories up. He jumps over the railing and starts swinging. On his neck? Yeah, he starts swinging. But the way the light was shining, he was going by the <laughs> light. And he was doing this. <laughs> so you could see him? Dude, over the entire woods was this cast this giant shadow of this alien dog just go <laughs> And I just watched this movie, so I'm just like, They're here <laughs> Aliens And I just I seriously just I just lay in my bed, I'm watching this giant shadow outside my window go <laughs> And I don't do anything. I'm just in fear. I'm so like Aslan's choking to death. <laughs> I'm just scared. And then finally, I'm like, Dad! <laughs> he runs out with his socks on his feet, like, <laughs> and grabs him. He pulls him up, <laughs> and throws him down. He's like, ah! <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. He takes the chain off, and it just runs off in the woods. <laughs> oh, my God. This dog sounds demonic. <laughs> Dude, I never knew you had a dog. Dude, scariest night of my life, hands down. <laughs> For a good two minutes, I'm like, dude, the aliens are here. Yeah, and, it, they, and they're angry, and they pos- <laughs> <laughs> they possessed your dog. The shadow was so big; it was like swinging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in your little kid brain, you're like, Whoa, dude, Whoa. that is too funny. <laughs> Aslan, so you never could pet it. I never touched it. Wow, and I, dude, I for years I was like, dang, I've never like gotten one on one with him. And I'm so <laughs> grateful. And I remember I was playing video games. I'm like. You know, I'd be under my bed playing yeah, video games. Yeah. I'd be like, doo, 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 doo. And I remember I like felt this. I right. felt this like. Oh, no. And I look over dad. and I'm like. And Aslan's. <laughs> he's standing there. He's like, God. God. Yeah. And he starts coming up and he's like. Dude. I'm like, ah. And my dad grabs me. He's like. Ah. <laughs> I'm like. Ah. You just go back there. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. We ended up having to put him down because he bit Oma. He bit Oma? <laughs> and Midgey. If you could have a lifetime supply of any item or something what would it be oh. let me guess layered bars <laughs> <laughs> try to think what mine would be probably surfboards surfboards you already have that <laughs> yeah you're right you already have like thousands of boards um maybe like a gym membership to laird's laird's house is that what laird does all day he just literally has people come over now there's thousands he goes in rooms and- <laughs> <laughs> thousands of people just have his address <laughs> Or does he mind wipe them when they leave? Like <laughs> men in black. <laughs> Gabby's like, hey, can you come over here? <laughs> Gabby's just like, need you to... and he just sprays some layered powder. Paste. <laughs> <laughs> and they just push him into a SUV. And you leave with abs. 
<laughs> and you don't know where you were. Okay, if you could party with one celebrity, and I mean party, I mean party, with one celebrity or like big personality, whatever, who would you party Dead or with? alive. Dead or alive. Who would it be, Sterling? Like any, I, you want to hear mine maybe? I think it would be pretty bad, A eh? To party <laughs> with Frank Sinatra back in the day. Frank Sinatra. Dude, the big. Part of the checks. Dude, like all the homies. Frank Sinatra, big band. Those guys were killing it back then. It's probably a vibe for sure. Dude, they were like in the mafia. I think I'd want to party with Frank Sinatra. <laughs> I think hanging out with Jim Carrey. Oh, my day God. would be pretty sick. Pre, Pre- painting. <laughs> <laughs> Pre yogi. Dude, he's the perfect example of a dude that is so smart and genius and next level hilarious that kind of went a little bit wonky, but who cares? He's killing it. <laughs> Bob Marley would be one. But wouldn't he just play a guitar all day? <sighs> Maybe like Buddha? Or Jesus. Buddha or Jesus. It'd be cool to hang out with Jesus to see like... How chill he is? Well, what was he really like? Because there's so many versions of Jesus. Right. Like there's thousands of versions of jesus do you think jesus ever like pants the disciples <laughs> <laughs> like waiting up behind him with, <laughs> yeah i guess mine would be frank sinatra jesus or uh bill uh robin williams maybe jesus so we could write more stuff down oh like because they didn't write that much down i would film the crap that out he of said yeah like there's only 27 sentences of, of jesus. jesus in the bible like didn't anyone think like what if we just wrote more down. Like, Jesus, sit down. Can I? Yeah. Can you just talk for a little yeah, while? Yeah, did Jesus ever do an interview? <laughs> like, the local Bethlehem? Because the whole Bible is just these stories. Yeah, parables. It's like, Jesus, why don't we write some stuff down? <laughs> so you're the son of God. Yeah, like, so tell us how that happened. Yeah, how's that going? So they didn't have, like, a Bethlehem, like, newspaper. that like, <laughs> Some lady with a pencil. Did, did you ever, who did you grow up listening to, like, in high school? What was your jams? I grew up watching Taylor Steele's movies. In the nineties, uh, so the soundtracks. So that had all the punk music and stuff. Yeah, and the lost surf movies. So I felt super cool going to school, knowing all this punk music. Yeah, like no one knew. Yeah, Blink was the only people people knew. Yeah, people. people <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, oh, you don't know Pennywise. Oh, you don't know yeah. freaking Unwritten Law. It's in Taylor Steele's movies. Oh, you don't know Sack Lunch. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> They're like five months old. Dude, 238 was a local band. Shout out. That was my jam. Dude, I was probably the coolest I've ever been in fourth grade. Yeah. The summer of fourth grade you changed peaked. my life. You peaked. Well, I went to California the first time. Ah. And so my dad took me out there and I got sponsored by Bill Bong that summer. Nice. And what's, dude, what's funny is I didn't have a good board in this uh, surf shop, Bird Surf Shed. Have you heard of that? Is it local? It's in San Diego. Oh. And uh, I didn't have a board, so Bird, he brings me out an old board of Kalani Robs. Shut up. That was one of your first boards. That was the board I like started shredding on. <sighs> so I was like 10 or nine. He gives me this Kalani board. It has his K on it. Kalani used to have this classic logo for with his catch surf. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so dude, I'm freaking riding Kalani's like personal rusty board. Ooh. I'm surfing Crystal Pier every day. And like um, my dad was friends with Bob Hurley. So I went to Billabong and I got sponsored. They gave me corduroy shorts, <sighs> a keychain wallet, dude. a shirt with a skull on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I shaved my head. I dyed it blonde. I think I remember this era. I sun in my hair. Yeah. It turned bright orange out of nowhere. <laughs> so we're at Venice Beach. In and to minute. finish off the look, um, they had fake tattoos. Oh, But sick. this was like some weird witchcraft tattoos. Yeah. Dude, it stayed on for almost a year. <laughs> and it was a giant rose. <laughs> Thorny rose. Did you feel so cool? Dude, people would see me and be like, dude, who's this little freaking punk star? Yeah, with the chain wallet. And like, I remember I came home to school and yeah. I remember seniors like talking crap about me. Because they were They're like, who's this? Sterling thinks he's so cool. They're insecure. I'm, like, I'm fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make fun of it. Did you feel so sick with your orange hair? Dude, I just got lost in the culture. Yeah, the surf Kalani. Did you meet Kalani when you were young? Yeah, um, he was in love with my sister. <gasps> Shut 
up. Are you allowed to talk about that? We were at the surf expo. So he was in love with my sister. So he, dude, Kalani gave me the royal treatment. Really? Little bro. Yeah, like because he <laughs> wanted to impress my sister. But he didn't know my sister had didn't care about me at all. So it backfired. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. like, why is he giving me attention? Yeah. He thought he was like being smooth. Yeah. She's like, I'm at the surf expo. This is like 90 six or something and that night there's this big wave pool contest at typhoon lagoon too so Kalani's like he takes me on his way he's walking around the show with me with his arm around me <laughs> and you're kind of like i'm just like whoa and he's like oh there's jerry lopez and we're talking to jerry, jerry. he's like this is sterling yancey's kid and yeah so i'm like hey mr jerry lopez and jeremy jerry <laughs> jerry tells me this story and like all zen so then Kalani's like walking around with me some more and he's like, dude, Rob Machado's in there. And I, Rob was the big one. Yeah. I was like, that was when you I was too scared. I was like, no, no. He's like, no, we're good. And we had to walk through this. Beads? <laughs> we had to walk through butts. Because reef, reef girls. girls were signing autographs and they're blocking the door. So butts were in the way. So I hadn't seen butts before. Right. He's like, Rob's behind this. The, the butts. I'm like, what? And he like just grabs me and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> And I was so scared. Like my my wiener felt weird. I'm like, ah! And Rob was sitting there and they had like oh. palm leaves. Like, <laughs> like he was sitting on this couch like, and they're like had palm leaves like Did waving. he have the fro hair? Dude, his hair was huge though. It was when it was up. And there was all butts touching it? Dude. <laughs> and he like takes me and he like brings me to him like a king. Like he steps back and he's like, this is Sterling. And Rob's like sitting there he's like... I'm like, uh, hello? What was he doing? Rob's like, hey, man. Yeah. Hey, what's up? And I, I just didn't say anything. And Connie's just like being all cool. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah I'm trying to get it with yeah, his sister. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's like, what's your butt like? <laughs> just kidding. So then freaking. Sorry, Abby. I, <laughs> I, so that night, <sighs> I the go to the wave pool contest and Rob won. Oh, sick. And I was sitting like right on the water. <laughs> and it was cold. It was at Typhoon yeah. Lagoon in Orlando. And I'm like, I'm friends with these guys. I'm Dude. like watching. And Rob's like, da, da, da. Dude, so you peaked. I peaked. <laughs> 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 Have you ever walked into a bathroom after a girl has dropped a donkey in there? It changes the way you think about her. Dude, one time I saw a girl come out of a pool and she was really pretty and she liked me, but she had a booger on her face. <laughs> and I didn't like her after that. Probably go over there. I didn't know well, we were about to start something and she came out of a pool. You know how when you're in a pool and it makes you snotty? She had a booger come out of her nose and now I was done. Are you ever like on your phone taking a dump and like you're like, and then you see a girl on and Instagram you and you're like, oh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I've had this exact thought. If you smell your poop and look at a girl, you're like, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, good God. <laughs> <laughs> like you'd be on Instagram just like cruising. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do you ever scroll like a skateboard, like on a big sector nine? Like, you know, you do the big pumps, you're, like, you need some content. <laughs> like you're just going through like, like a big pump on a sector nine. Like yeah. <laughs> and then you finally take the dump and then whoever lands on, you're like, Oh God. <laughs> but she's beautiful. The rest of your life, you like say, if you see her, you just, the smell, like you're just like, Oh, <laughs> it's your own smell. though. <laughs> oh, how funny. I, I know we're not the only two who have thought of that. <laughs> Other people out there have had that happen. <laughs> Not that the fart and the stink. Was Have you ever sink. skated like that though? Yeah, when you get a big pump. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you feel cooler with the big stride. <laughs> and you put one hand on your leg, like, get the yeah, <laughs> dude. You know one one thing I hate about skaters, they do a trick, and they land it, but they kind of land it sketchy, and they laugh it off, like it's like, <laughs> but that's literally <laughs> as good as they could probably do it. Right? Do you get what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. when a skater does something, and they land it funky, and they're like. <laughs> You're like, shut up. And you're like, dude, you just suck at it. You can't lean that clean. You can't, <laughs> <laughs> you can't lean that clean. Dude, I was so good at impossible flips. Were you? So you that dude, was my trick. The scoop. And uh, backside flips. Dude, you, I remember you doing some backside flips. Dude, it's I was the in surfer. the newspaper for oh. skating at your church once. <laughs> Bird Raiders? You remember that? Bird Raiders Bash? Dude, I got the cover. 
I don't remember. Was it? I an, did this huge uh, rocket air. Like, oh, like yeah, a, where you press it out, uh, dude. Our uh, airwalk. Oh uh, yeah, an airwalk. I did a three sixty airwalk, like, and you stuck it, and it was on the newspaper. I was like, <laughs> you probably didn't land it, dude. I crushed it. All right, take your word for it. I'm looking back at that time. I was like, dude, I was so flexible. I could just land on concrete. You know what story we've never told is when you and me got into a fight. Which, which fight? So me and Sterling were at our grandma's house, and, and we've there was talked about this. Well, I don't think I put it in yeah. with the beach ball. So we're at my we're at our grandma's house. Me and my other cousin were throwing the ball back and forth. Sterling was being super in shape and jockey, and he came in and he took the ball. And I didn't like Sterling when we were young. We were kind of didn't like each other. We we're both alphas. Yeah, I was an alpha in my little bubble. Right. And I said, "Give me the ball back!" And you were like, "No!" And we started pushing, and I fell, and Sterling kicked me in the stomach with cleats on. With cleats on, <laughs> while I was on the ground. But if you kick with cleats, it's gonna hit you in the front. I didn't go. Oh, okay. All I remember, <laughs> and then I went to the back room and was like crying, and your dad made- Didn't you land on a piece of metal? Some piece of metal went into my foot. I had to like pull it out, and you had to come in and apologize to me. Bad and I was like, it's cool, man. <laughs> and we like shook hands, and you laughed. I'll see you next Christmas. <laughs> see you next Christmas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then we didn't see each other probably for years. Right. First time I remember hanging out with you, you were dating some girl I knew, and- When we were older? You were dating my cousin. I don't even want to go into that. <laughs> You were dating this girl I knew. Tell so. them. No. Just tell them. You really want to be exposed? Tell them. So I can say this phrase. My cousin's dated. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the story, guys. My mom's sister's daughter and my dad's brother's son dated. I dated his cousin, <laughs> but I'm also his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> There's no blood relation. She was the other side of your family. Yeah. And I'm not are, related to your mom. Right. So, so it's his mom's <laughs> nephew. My mom's <laughs> sister. <laughs> my mom. Boy. Let me. My mom's sister's daughter and my dad's brother's son dated. So I had cousins that were dating. She's a sweet girl. She's married <laughs> and has kids. But it was always a funny thing because everybody would be like, wait a second, Sterling's <laughs> dating his cousin. Dude, every time we would show up to a family function, oh. people would pull out a map <laughs> or going through the lineage. Like, well, nope, actually, nope, there's no blood. There's no blood, but it was funny because I'd be like, oh, my cousins are dating. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I remember like literally the whole town, they'd be like, dude, aren't y'all cousins? Dude, and so you, I don't think it was ever going to work out. <laughs> I'm like, we're not cousins. Right. It was my cousin's <laughs> cousin. <laughs> <laughs> but I hated it because I had to explain it all the time. Everybody like, so Sterling's dating? Wait, tell me what? I'm like, it, that's why I was so good at it. It's my mom's mom's sister, my dad's dad, brother's son. So yeah, my cousins dated. But it made family functions fun. Sterling would be at both family functions. <laughs> It was weird seeing your, the other side. Yeah, you'd be at like a pumpkin carving party over at this family, <laughs> and then the next week we'd be doing something else. Yep. That's <laughs> my dirty secret. <laughs> <laughs> Dated oh. my cousin's cousin. <laughs> it is the panhandle, baby. <laughs> uh, I remember like sleeping in them like, Am I, what, is it Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd have like a revelation, like, wait a second. No, and it's good. We're good. There's yeah. zero blood. Someone in the comments explained if that's fine, right? They didn't get married. They're broken up. <laughs> <sighs> we never fornicated because we were too worried if the cousin blood was too strong. <laughs> you don't want to mix cousin blood. <laughs> You've seen what happens. Oh, well, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we finally got to just Sterling's deepest, darkest secret. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I've been scared to tell that story for years. It's all good. It's all good. How's Sterling doing with his crotch crabs, guys? I think it's lowered <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I've talked to him. He's he's working on it. <laughs> Drink of every crotch crab. Sterling, you know, it's a nervous tick. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If we can get this podcast to 2,000 likes, you know, we might be stoked. So thanks for watching. Buy the shirts. So, Sterling, tell him to buy the shirts. Buy the shirt. What's he doing? Whoa. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> like and subscribe. Get us to 2,000 likes. Oh, we did it, Sterling. How's it?
Thank you for watching Pinch My Salt, the hit podcast of the world's number one surfer, Sterling Spencer. You know the rules. Subscribe and tickle that like button. Pinch My Salt. <laughs>